And finally, for me this evening, it was the country's eyes and ears during the Cold War. The former Royal Observer Corps bunker in Dundee gathered information in a bid to protect Scotland from nuclear attack. The site closed in the 1990s, but it's recently been restored and its sounds are now being brought back to life. Lynn Rankin has the story. Modern music in a bygone bunker. Electronic band Temporary bring the sounds of the former Royal Observer Corps bunker in Dundee back to life. We do a lot of improvised work and kind of build things that are specific to the places where we're playing and was inspired by all this heritage that's around so we got to interview the people who used to work here. We went around and recorded the sounds of all the air conditioning units, we went around all the motors and generators that are sort of tucked away, we went and recorded all the apparatus, all the sounds of the machines working, all the, all the typing and everything so it was yeah, loads of scope for us to explore. Attack warning red, attack warning red, attack warning red. During the Cold War, the country was on guard for a nuclear attack. The former sector headquarters at Craigie Barnes gathered information from a network of secret bunkers. With the end of the war and the collapse of the Soviet Union, the Royal Observer Corps was stood down in 1991 and the bunker closed. The building has since been bought by a preservation trust and has been restored to its former glory. This room was a bare concrete box. Uh, some of the wooden furniture was still here. A lot of it was in fairly grotty uh, sort of shape. The few bits of carpet that were left on the desks and on the floor were covered in mould. We had to rip it up and start again pretty much from, uh, from scratch. The gig will be streamed live on the internet on Saturday night and just like the observers who once worked here, the band won't know who's out there listening. Lynn Rankin, STV News, Dundee.